Thanks, Phil. Produced by Mandla Dube, Kalushi has been held as a critically important South African story and has received support from the government, notably a personal letter of endorsement by President Jacob Zuma, as well as a blessing from the Mshlangu family. An authentically African story, Kalushi is based on the true story of a 19-year-old hawker, Solomon Mshlangu, from Amalodi Township, who becomes a political icon. And through this film, we get to see him transform from an average hawker to a human rights legend. Mshlangu was hung in 1979 after being found guilty of terrorism and treason charges. Joining me in studio is uh, Tabo Rametsi, who plays Kalushi. Tabo, thank you very much for joining me. Thank you for having me, sir. Um, I, you know, before we even talk about the, the film, I can only imagine that as an actor, you know, you, you've got to perfect your craft. Yeah. You've, you've got to be at the top of your game. But when you're telling such an critically important story mm -hmm. with the entire Mashlangu family um, looking at you. Correct. This must be serious pressure. Yeah, I think the, the, the majority of the pressure didn't come from the family or the fans because Solomon Mashlangu is not as well known as we'd expect him to be. Yeah. It's a very strange little coincidence that. But the pressure came from the actors that have come before, the international actors that have played leads in our films. I felt that if I messed up here, I validated every time they, they hired a, a, a Maurice, you know, these other actors to play yeah us so the responsibility was to be great so that we it was like a big middle finger to the people who just forced other people to come play our roles and tell our stories and you know it's such an interesting thing i mean he, who who was solomon Maslango? i mean he was born on the 10th of 1956 mm -hmm. he became such an important figure just quickly, briefly, what did you learn so solomon basically is this young boy who who, who, who was entrenched in a culture of, of liberation because he was stuck in the apartheid uh, system and he just wanted more. He was obsessed with education. He was obsessed with furthering himself and his own family. But because of the constraints of the, the old regime, it was impossible for a young black man to have great dreams. And he just fought for that. Uh, we've told the, the story a bit differently so we could tell the story of all the kids from June 16. Yeah. Because no one has actually really told that story. We've all heard about the great icons, but the kids themselves there and what their personal lives were. And that's probably, I think, um, the great challenge. And so Solomon is this kid who, who just goes through journey and gets into trouble for an act he didn't do. His friend committed a, a terrible act yeah. and killed people, but then Solomon gets to, well, hang for it. Okay, before we continue with this interview, let's take a look at the trailer of Kulushi. The charges against the accused before this court. Two counts of murder and causing fear and distress in the public domain. My name is Solomon Masham. I live in Mamelodi, C2 in the Bella section. There's going to be a match on the 16th of June in Soweto. I want you guys to come. Soweto made us anger. It made me angry. Policemen killing children. What? Africans? We were tired of only having stones to throw while you shoot us with bullets. We were going to fight fire with fire. Solomon Mfangu and Mondi Motlan have a common purpose. They left the country together. They underwent military training together. You're not mercenaries. You are freedom fighters. Are we clear? Yes, sir. And together, they terrorized the people of South Africa. They had a common purpose. And that purpose was murder. Welcome to Pretoria Central Maximum Security Prison. When you leave here, it'll be in a coffin. No punishment that you can lay out in this court. No law, no government can pass. That will kill the will of the people. Because we will fight. We will continue to fight. Until all our people are free. You know, I'm sitting here watching this trailer with you and I'm getting goosebumps. And it's just such a beautifully, visually well-told story yeah. that you can't... I, what were some of the challenges in making this film? 
Well, you know, doing, being in the South African film industry, the first big challenge is budget and finance. And we had such great producers who managed to put that together. We had great partners as well. And uh, I'm glad that it gives you goosebumps because now you'll have the opportunity to watch this film yeah. uh, for the first time. Uh, it's debuting at the Rapid Line Film Festival. Yeah, yeah. it's For debuting. the first time in the world. In the wo I haven't even seen the whole film yet. Uh, it's a powerful piece. I, I enjoyed everything. The cast is exceptionally strong. Well directed. Completely South African made. So don't... And it's young people. Young people. Completely young people. All black. All, everyone was just... It's such an incredible journey and to be part of this. Um, you know, one of the, the... I think probably one of the, the most powerful things about Solomon Muslango is that, you know, through all of this, this is a 19-year-old yeah. walker who f was con he felt his conviction. He didn't even tell his family. Yeah. He left a note under his brother's pillow and disappeared and went into exile, went into Mozambique, yeah. started training with the with the Mkontu This is the this is the power of and, and the conviction of young people back in the seventies. Mm. I think this film has such a great relevance even now. And it's so beautiful. It's so strange because we ran out of budget and we had to like sort of delay it. And it's so beautifully and it worked so serendipitously that we comes out now where people are feeling that way, the youth are feeling that way as well. And he's, he symbolizes the average South African young man or girl who wants to fight for a better future. I think one of the, uh, one of the words that's actually engraved on, 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 his uh, on his tombstone is, my blood will nourish the tree that will bear the fruits of freedom. Tell my people that I love them. They must continue the fight. fight. You, you had to stick pretty close to those kind of quotes. They were powerful quotes. Powerful. You know, we, we had liberties and we did take liberties in telling the story, but we couldn't take liberties in telling the person's soul. Mm. And his soul came out through his words. So we, we, we referenced a lot of what he said to his family, which was important to his lawyers and to his people. You know, he wasn't a flashy star. And I think mm. he wasn't one of those like political icons. Oh my gosh, he was very humbled. Mm. And uh, more the, the result, Robert Sabuke kind of mold of, of young man and a great thinker and a lover. Mm. He loved uh, a great deal. He loved people and he loved his own people, he loved education. Mm. So it's a great story to tell somebody who's not a violent person, who's just a lover of, of, of his mm. own people. Yeah. Uh, I did mention that it's debuting at the Rapid Line yeah. Film Festival. Uh, and, and I mean, that's an amazing platform. Yeah. Uh, it's going to be uh, the 12th of March. What are you guys expecting? For the, for the few people that have seen it, what is the Mashlangu family? What has their reaction been to Kalushi? I don't, I don't want to blow it out of proportion, but this is going to be South Africa's epic. This is the equivalent of our Titanic because we have it all. We have helicopters, we have gunfights, we have sex, we have guns, we have traveling all over <laughs> Africa. It is full of just excitement and you will not be bored. It is just a complete end-to-end yeah. -end journey. You probably leave crying at the end. Details about when people can watch it, where they can watch it? Well, I know that it's the opening film for the Rapid uh, Line Rapid Festival, film Festival. And that's on the 12th of March. And that'll yeah. be at the Market Theatre oh, as well. One yeah. of the best places, the home of art in, 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 in Joburg is, is the Market Theatre. We have to give it as credit as that. And it's really cheap as well. I think students, it's like 35 Rand and pensioners is 55. But check out the Rapid Lion um, website. website www.rapidline.co.za yeah, yeah, yeah. and you can find out uh, more details about this film. Were you moved by when you made this film? Were, you, were there moments? as an actor I know you have to be professional yeah. but were there moments where you thought like oh my word I'm telling the story mm -hmm. and everybody or people that know the story will judge me it's, it's crazy because our director actually is the one who inspired that moment. He, Mandla Dube. Mandla Dube, phenomenal director and producer. He brought this to life. And we were doing a scene in a house, and it was a small scene, which I didn't think had great consequence. And as he described the scene, he cried. Chio. And, you know, so, and I was like, wow, this is an important story. Because he was explaining how people are being removed from their homes. And it sounds easy when we say it, but if you actually understand it, it will great, bring great emotion to you. And that was the moment I was like, I have a responsibility to tell this guy's honesty and truth. And we all did. And all the artists who came onto this project did so like, brilliantly. I love that you say that this story ties in so much to where we find ourselves mm. today. This is really a movie for every South African to go and watch at the opening night. Yeah, this is not an apartheid movie. Let's just start there right now. I said it wasn't epic on purpose. We don't really delve into like the, the events. It's more about the people and the mm. family. So definitely come watch it. I think it's going to be such an awesome journey. Great date movie, great family movie. I know mm. I said it's got some crazy stuff, but it's all been yeah. toned down well. Tabor Ametsi, who Thank plays you. the lead character in uh, Kalushi, uh, talking to us about the autobiography, which will debut for the first time in the world in South Africa at the Rapid Line Film Festival. You can log on to www.rapidline.co.za to find out more about the viewing times and we encourage absolutely everybody to go and check it out. We take an ad break, don't go anywhere.